The reign of Gallienus is an important one. We see the gradual distancing of the person of the emperor from first among equals to the agent of God that we see in the later empire. You can see it in this bust of the emperor in Brussels, with the eyes looking upwards towards heaven. It can also be seen in his coinage late in his reign, where he issued a series of coins pairing his portrait with those of gods. Here you can see Gallienus with Jupiter holding a scepter and thunderbolt. Gallienus was born in around 218 in Etruria. By the time his father, the Emperor Valerian, named him Caesar in October 253, he was married to Cornelia Salonina with three sons. Valerian and Gallienus split the empire between them, much in the same way that Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus had. Gallienus looked after the west and his father the east. Gallienus's biggest innovation was the introduction of a cavalry corps that could be swiftly deployed wherever needed. It was shown to deadly effect against the usurper in Genuus in 260. But the failure of his reign was that the empire was simply too large. Into the vacuum caused by Roman troops fighting in Genuus, another usurper, Posthumus, declared what is known as the Gallic Empire. With the capital in Cologne, Posthumus borrowed all of the trappings of the Roman Empire, almost exactly. He held Germany and Gaul, as well as Britain and Spain. The capture of Valerian by the Persian monarch Shapur left Gallienus in sole charge of the empire. The rest of his reign was devoted to putting down revolts in Egypt and in Italy, but also to a major Gothic invasion of the Balkans in the late 260s. The invasions were put down, but in July or August 268, it was becoming clear that Gallienus' senior officers had lost faith in him. While laying siege to Milan, the emperor was murdered.